a mask that lived upon the sea. Where, like a ruin on the dolphin's back, I saw him pull the acquaintance with the waves. So long as I could see, but saying so, there's hope. My own escape, I'm close to my hope. He knows I was poetry. I, madam, well, who governs here? A noble duke in nature, or Sino? Sino? I have heard my father name him. He was a bachelor then, and so is now. Or who said very late? For but a month ago, I went from hence, and then to a sprashing mama that he did seek the love of fair Olivia. Oh, there's eyes of that lady, and might not be delivered to the world till I have made my own occasion mellow what my estate is. It were hard to compass, because she will admit no kind of suit, no, not the Duke's. There's a devil here then, you. I'd free thee, and I pay thee, bounteous thee. Conceal me what I am, and be my aid. Is such a disguise as haply doth come in the form of an effect? Observe this duke, thou shalt present me. As in the unit, him, under the assumed name of the Cesario. That were long, very worth this service. Only shake thy silence, my wit. Be you his eunuch, and to mute I'll be. For my tongue flaps, then my let my eyes not see. And I thank thee, to lead me on. I duck the over me. The loneliness in my fate might perhaps dissemble yours. Therefore, I shall pray over your relief. I may bear my yoke so long. Let me alone, you will you bound? No, so sir. My determined voice is mere extravagancy. But I am perceiving you so excellent a touch of modesty that you will not extort from me what I am willing to take in. Therefore, it charges me manners to rather to express myself. You must know me then, Antonio. My name is Sebastian. My father was a Sebastian of Maso, whom I know you have heard. He left behind himself me and my sister, who was born in an hour. If the heavens had been pleased, would we have so entered? But you, sir, altered that, for some hour before you took me from the bridge of the sea was my sister drowned. Alas, for day. A lady, sir, though it was said she much resembled me, was yet of many accounted beautiful. But though I could not with such estimable wonder open path believe that, yet thus far I will boldly publish her. She bought a mind that Henry could not call but fear. She is drowned already, sir, with salt water. So I seem to draw her remembrance again with her. Pardon me, sir, your back and the Oh, good Antonio, give me your trouble. <laughs> Mine eyes will tell tales of me. 
I am bound to the Count of Simmons' court. Farewell. Then this world grass go with thee. I have many enemies in your Simmons' court, else would I very shortly see thee there. To comfort me, I do adore thee so, that danger shall seem sport, and I will go. Who solves the sorrow of power? Or attendants, my lord, here. Cesaro, who do you? A drunk that gets on to Olivia, stuck at her doors, and tell me, there thy fixed and full trouble till thou have audience. You say I do speak with her, my lord, or then, or then, I for the passion of my love, surprise her with discourse of my dear face. It shall become thee well to act my woes. She will attend it better in thy youth than in the nuptials of more grave aspect. Thy ever slip is not more smooth and rubious. Thy small pipe is as a maiden's organ, shrill and sound, and always sedative a woman's part. <coughs> I know thy consolation is right up for this affair. Prosper well in this, and thou shalt live as freely as our Lord to call his fortunes down. I will do my best to rule your lady. Thank you. 